this week on Timberborn. Oh, we've done it. We've hit 1,000 science. Let's take a look at this. We can now unlock the observatory. Oh, man, this is going to take our science to the next level. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, my goodness. I always look down at that. That gets me worried. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Timberborn here in our little village of Kesselborn. Things are going very well. We are just getting to the end of another bad tide. 1.3 days left. Yes, I remember to shut the dam. Excellent. We've got plenty of water, plenty of food wood is a bit of a problem i believe we've put these new chestnuts in here and nobody's gathering the nuts for us i can't see them on our list anywhere do we need a gatherer flag for those we do that would probably explain it let's pop one in right next to it here we'll have to get rid of these first of all somebody could do that for us and then we'll grab a gatherer's flag there we go thank you very much and we'll pop that in there as soon as you're finished digging it up excellent let's pop that there excellent get that done on, get that filled and we'll see who's going to collect these for us and then we can start cooking those chestnuts into something delicious who's gonna be doing that for us pia and nelly thank you very much for supporting me on patreon you get named as a beaver and enjoy the latest satisfactory episodes as well a little bit behind on those i'll be honest they'll be back to every week um i'm trying to catch up after being off ill and taking a few days off with the family but you know that's life and just before we do that a word from our sponsor instant gaming if you like saving money on games instant gaming have fantastic deals on right now please use my affiliate link you can see it on screen and it's in the pinned comment below this link can be used for Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox games too with amazing deals. Popular at the moment is Timberborn. Got to keep those beavers alive. And the fantastic Pacific Drive. Can you keep your car on the road? And any City Skylines DLC that you might be missing. Thank you for your support of my channel. Enjoy the gaming deals and let's get back to the video. Okay, so what else do we need to do on here? Let's make sure that we're cooking up these chestnuts. And I believe that one up here is already set up. Oh, no, that's doing potatoes. Is this where we would grill our chestnuts? It is. Okay, let's use the picker picker mod. We're going to grab one of those. We'll pop that next door. We'll get that built. Thank you very much. And get somebody in there. Grilled chestnuts. And then we're going to need a little bit of storage. Perhaps we could utilize this space along here. If we one, two, one, and two. So what I'm going to do is use this one for holding the raw chestnuts. Uh, grilled chestnuts. Okay, we'll do the grilled chestnuts in the first one, as that's what I've seen. Grilled chestnuts, grilled chestnuts. And then these ones will hold. There we go. Found it. Chestnuts up there. Chestnuts up there. Excellent. So we can get that little produ production chain going and yeah looking at our stories that is something we've constantly got absolutely rammed filled i mean this little chap here said to mum is doing nothing because our potato storage is filled so maybe we need to try and add another layer to our storage tower over here or we could unlock larger storage now i don't actually want to spend any of our science on that just yet because i would like to unlock the larger science if we go over here we've got the observatory which gives us 10 science every three quarters of an hour as opposed to one science every hour and i think we need to move on from these oh we haven't got enough workers for these which is a little bit annoying mm. yeah we need more beavers first of all don't we i think we can sort of repurpose this a little bit so what we're going to do i know i just said we needed more science we're going to delete that and I want some more buildings like that. Um, and then we're going to get our path going around there like so. Bad tide has ended. Excellent. Okay, let's run over here before we forget. Wait for all this nasty water to go through. Nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. That looks good enough to me. And then we can open this back up. Almost, actually, it's almost, almost gone through any second. And then if we did finish building this thing here, did they? I think that's near enough. That's okay. So if we open this up, yeah, we always get a little teeny tiny little bit in there. Then that starts getting our power going through. Excellent. That starts going to be making even more power for this thing, which has been okay, actually. We've had enough power. You see them lifting up to the top. There we go. Excellent. And then they'll get access to all of these, and that will 
grant us some more beavers. We've got some baby beavers as well, which will be growing up very soon, which will help us out. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. So the other thing that's been a constant problem is running short of lo logs. I mean, we've got 618 logs, not running short, but we need more logs. We're going to be doing a lot more building. And I'm just sort of trying to look around to see where would be a good place to do that. And I'm just thinking this section along the back here, as we're trying to sort of build up this area over here, and there's one sort of tree that we don't have planted which i'd like to add to our repertoire if we go down here which is the maple tree uh, we do have the oak we do have the chestnut we do have the pine we're getting the pine sap from those as well but i think maple we'll get six logs every 28 days and also the maple syrup which will be handy for items a bit later as well. Get that built up. There we go. Yeah, very good. And then we can mark most of that for cutting, which it looks like it is already. But then we're going to leave a little section not for cutting. Unmark clear cutting trees like that. And that will give us the maple syrup collection that we need. And then, of course, for that, we're going to need a lumberjack and a tapper's shack as well. So let's get a lumberjack flag right next to here. That should... Yeah, that'll cover all of that quite easily. There we go. And then also a tapper shack. That's in here somewhere as well. Lumber mill, tapper shack. There we go. We'll get that behind there. Excellent. And then we can do a little bit of storage here as well. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be stored in barrels for the maple syrup. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there we go. Maple syrup. Yeah, we'll have a couple of barrels for that. Excellent. Yeah, use this little area here. Let's pop an underground pile in. There we go. Just rejigger that a little bit so it makes more sense. That will be good. So they're going to start planting those for us. Excellent. So that would basically cover now all of the different tree types, different items that are in there. And I'm pretty sure we've also got all the different food types going as well. How's the science going? Well, basically, we just need more beavers. We've got tons of children. We're just waiting for beavers who have no jobs. So we can then get them going back in the science again and get things going. Just taking a look around at where our food is being stored. Maybe it's a little bit further away than all the beavers wish. We've got all of our carrots stored here very safely below all of our explosive storage. That's fine. We've got this sort of warehouse stack on here, which to get to the top one, you've got to go around, got to go around, got to go up and all of that. And then the other food storage is all the way over up here, which is a long way away. So I'm just wondering whether we could just add a little more storage into this sort of middle section where they come over the bridge maybe just along the back here as well just to try and help our beavers out yes yeah, so i think a couple of little medium warehouses like that and then we'll pop that along the sides down there and then we just need some stairs in here don't we so we can get up boink 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 there we go and then we'll just pop a path along the top excellent so we can have two lots of food in there and as we've said our grilled potatoes we are absolutely flying with those so we'll have grilled potatoes on the bottom and then what could we have on the top? We could just pop carrots in there, couldn't we? We've got tons of carrots. There we go, excellent. Now we'll get to building those ASAP. And that's a little bit closer. And then maybe something over here as well. They come off that bridge. Yeah, they've got access to this section down here. So maybe just some little storages along here with a selection of food like this. There we go. So we've got berries, we've got bread, we've got carrots, we've got those cracker things, cattail crackers and grilled potatoes. We'll just pop all of those along there. A little bit more space if we need to add more as well. Oh, and I want to suppose what we also need over here is a forester, of course, to get these things planted in. Let's pop in a forester. We'll make you a slightly higher priority as well. There we go. And you are going to prioritise the maple that we're going to be planting in here. Aha, fantastic jade newton thank you very much for getting our maple seeds planted it's going to take 28 days before we can start getting any logs out of those and another 12 days to get our maple syrup but yeah that gets that going very good very good oh my goodness me 126 beavers i'd like to get even more beavers at the moment we've got 12 job vacancies we've started building this little enclave around the back here could i sort of use some of this space like this and add a few more of these properties in i could probably squeeze one in here as well and we know these are going to hold nine beavers each so already that is another whoops 18 beavers going in there and then we just sort of need to build up some steps around there so they can get in, I believe. If we pop some stairs in there and then go like this. 
There we go. And then we could put some back to back as well, which will help. Do that on there, that on there. Excellent. And we probably could fit some more in there, but that will do for now. I'm going to place the roofs on top as well to give them the bonuses. And I think that'll be great. And I want to get this down here and I want to see this figure here with some spare beavers. So we know that we're filling all of our jobs. Please get to building using up the logs that we do not have many of. Send we. Brilliant. Have you got nothing to do? Nothing to do in range. Well, we are going to get you to cut down all of these. Cut trees, cut trees, all of these trees. And I think just with a little stair there that you'll have access to all of this as well on the second level. So we'll get that going. Uh, where's the nearest storage for logs? Seems to be quite distance as well. Oh, there's one over there, but that one's nearly filled up. And then there's this one down here that we just put in as well. It's got plenty of space. So that's fine. Let's just have a look in here. Prioritised by haulers. We, I'm going to tick that because eventually we're going to get even more beavers moving in and have lots of haulers again. So yeah, that'll be fine. Just looking at this one here, we could back up another one there. Although we're filling up, this is our space where all of our power is. So maybe we won't do that. What about squeezing one in around the back here? Oh, 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 I could just about do it. And then that will get access to that bridge there as well. We could pop a roof on there. Oh, we're going to have a beaver explosion suddenly. we just got to be careful. We don't overdo it, but I think we'll be fine. Famous last words. Oh, it's in. The new homes are done. Excellent. And we're getting spare beavers without a job. Very good. So I'm going to slowly start adding those back in to the hauling posts and the builder's huts, which I think is really going to help. I want to get more hauling posts as well. We've got this one here, haven't we? Yeah, we can add. Let's have another job into there too. Excellent. Oh, actually, that took a job away from somewhere else. Oink, we'll take that away again. Very good. Yeah, I want more hauling. I want to try and prioritize everything by haulers so the people, sorry, beavers that are doing the jobs can concentrate on their jobs uh, rather than running backwards and forwards and try and sort of make it easier for everything and quicker for everything to get done. By the way, I know that these are not connected to our power grid. That's fine because eventually we're going to be adding more wheels along here. I've got to try and think of a way of doing it without killing all the beavers. Um, could we do this if i grab that path and bring that to there and then we come across like so can i get that in there thank you kindly and then grab one of these along there then can i pop some of these in without messing anything up and as long as they is mm, 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 an easier way to do this they're running through the flipping water anyway the bad water bone heads why are they doing that we've got 11 spare beavers oh my goodness it's going great yeah i'll pop those in then we'll hook them up in a minute okay excellent well we've got spare beavers let's get them working away in the haulers and the builders i think i'm also going to add more beavers to our large water pumps here because we're not quite filling up our water and now we've had a bit of a beaver population explosion i want to make sure that every single one of these is filled to the brim all over the place so we're not sort of suddenly they got these ones over here not suddenly running out of water in the middle of a bad tide that would not be a good idea Oh, we've done it. We've hit 1,000 science. Let's take a look at this. We can now unlock the observatory. Oh, man, this is going to take our science to the next level. Does that... Hang on a sec. Does that need power? Oh, it needs power as well. Okay, yeah, we're going to unlock that. Fantastic. So it needs 10 pine resin, which we've already been collecting from over here. No, uh, over here. Yeah, which is good. We look over here. We've got 80 pine resin, so we can build eight of these. Uh, it takes 30 coals. We've got 250. 80 planks. We've got 398. And let's see how big this thing is. That is not too large, is it? And we can just hook that straight into our power over here. Um, what's going to be the best way to do that? If we sort of go like that like that no or we could go there we're going to end up not having anything built in the middle hang on let me just think what i'm doing it yeah i think what we'll do is we'll go like that we'll have them sort of facing a little path in the middle there connecting them up that way these are touching these which will get the power from there and these are touching the gears and stuff over here which should be fine each of these does take four beavers as well um so we do need to probably steal some beavers from the haulers and the builders although we do have 30 30 children that are going to be growing up 
Who's yeah. lacking material? What are you waiting for? A wheat flour, that will come eventually. Grilled chestnuts, that will come eventually. Building lats workers. Yeah, inventors. These are all going to go. Inventors, inventor, inventor. We've got those set pretty low. Explosives factory. We've got so much explosives we don't know what to do with. Tapper shack. There's nothing to tap at the moment. Observatory's in. Oh, excellent. By exploring the stars, beavers gain more knowledge about the world that they live in. Excellent. If I up the priority on that, we suddenly get a load of beavers moving in. Excellent. I think the priority in our haulers and stuff is sort of of mid medium yeah so we're always gonna grab oh look at that they angle the telescope as well let's watch this one as they all come to work oh look at that that is fantastic they are examining the stars learning all the stuff that is just great so now our science should be oh look at that that is absolutely flying which is great and the last one is in. Let's get some workers in there as well. Oh, excellent. What's the productivity on these? 70%, 60%, 57%. Not quite sure why that is. Downtime carrying materials. What materials are you carrying backwards and forwards? I don't know. But the science is... All oh, my goodness. We're nearly back up to the 1,000 that we had before. That is absolutely nuts. Well, that means now we are going to get rid of these. Yep, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. I think that was all of them, wasn't it? And then we can decide to put some more things in there. Maybe we will get some more beavers in there. I'm just a little bit concerned that we don't have enough pumpers here for all the water that we need to pump. Um, I'm just going to re-jigger this area here. Oh, we can't pop one in there. It needs to go back further. Uh, we could do, if we build up this land a little bit, how high does that need to be? Okay, we'll go like that, like that. They're too wide. One, two, three wide, I think. And then like that, like that, like that. And then like that. Yes, excellent. Get that on there. And then we can have a little path there. We can get this. It's dyed, so that's good. We can get that built in there. No, okay, we need to destroy that. Destroy, mark resources for demolition. Yeah, you're going to end up getting stuck in there if you're not careful, because we've all seen how this happens before, haven't we? There we go. We'll put that in there, that on there. And at least they can then get down to... I don't know what that was for. Oh, that wasn't for down here, was it? That was removing the blockage that was there. Oh, never mind. So at least we can have another one of these working once we get some spare beavers. Yeah, we've got two beavers at a wheel, but they're stupid enough to walk through the bad water when they don't need to. And now the science is flying. And we've got... Man, what other stuff we've got to unlock? Fountain of Joy, Farmers Wanted Braze... Do you know what I really want to start working towards? Is the refinery, the bot part factory, and the bot assembler so our beavers can just keep living the good life and we can have robots doing everything else and then to connect all of these along the back here we can do this there we go so these oh what's going on with there waiting for material so when that piece is in that connects all of these to these couple as well and then to connect these i mean it is such a convoluted roundabout way of doing it but I'm going to run this along the top here and then connect it into there. Eventually, I mean, we could just do dynamite under the ground and all of that sort of thing. Do you know what? It's like this is the first time I've ever played Timberborn. I've never got this far in a game ever before. So all the little things that I'm learning along the way of, oh, I could run the power under the ground. I could do this. I could do that. That stuff is going to be coming up in our next playthrough. Uh, when we do Iron Teeth, when we pick a really difficult map and all that stuff as well. I'm going to pop another one of these in here now that we've got the space. Uh, platform yes please yes please grab there go to there excellent we've got all of this space at the back now which we could use i'm gonna have a little think about what we're gonna do with that although if i pop that in there that will connect to there that will connect to there okay yeah we're gonna do it we're gonna do it excellent and then this bit in here we could just do the same again couldn't we we we'll do that there the one on top how are we going to get to that one? I know what we can do. We can do that. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to do it. Then we're going to grab that. We're going to go there. Excellent. Then we're going to grab a path and go there. Then we're going to grab that and go on there. Oh, my goodness me. We are going to have so many beavers by the end of this episode. It's going to be nuts. Right, that is all hooked up. Excellent. This is nearly all built. So let's just see if we can get all of our connectors and things in here as well oh wow i can't believe it we are up to 3400 science already that is just nuts what are you waiting for treated planks why do we not have any treated planks at all where's our sparkly plank 
manufacturer. Is that you over here? Log, scrap metal, metal blocks. No, you're one, one of these, one of these. I'm on the blind, which isn't beyond the realms of possibility, or we don't have anybody making sparkly planks. The building looks like this. This one here, the wood workshop. So it's got the bulbous thing in the middle and three sort of round things moving along the side. Am I completely blind? It's not that... It's none of these. I don't think we've got one. What Have I, like, destroyed it at some point and not even realised? I'm going to pop another one anyway, because we're obviously not making enough. Uh, let's get this thing going and going. Gears, planks, logs, we should have plenty of those. I don't understand where it is and why it isn't working. Is it, like, tucked in the middle here somewhere? That's our smelter. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I've accidentally deleted it or, or what's happening. I've tucked it away somewhere and forgot about it. It's definitely not in the middle here. It's definitely not up the top here. And this is where you will write in the comments going, Biffy, you're so blind. There it is. Right, this is all of our explosive stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll we'll get that in. We'll get that working. We'll get some more beavers beavering away at that. And then we can get all of this finish down here. Okay, we're just going to test everything. We've got a drought approaching um, in three days. We, we're up to 3,000 water. I really wanted to get this done and fill up. Although I think our water storage is almost full. Um, let's just pop in. Some more of these, which is what I wanted to do anyway to get these going. Let's just put my little platform in there, get that built on there, get all of these storing water. There we go, there we go, there we go. And finally, there we go. Get all of these on high priority. Zoink, get them done, please. So we can have plenty of water storage. Although with all the thirsty and hungry beavers wandering around, it's like they don't drink much anyway, so I don't know. Oh, it's in. Watu is going to be working there for us, making these. So pine resin. Yep, yeah, we've got 40 pine resin. We've got 95 planks, and then we're going to get in the treated planks, which is good. We'll have storage for that somewhere. I don't know where that is, but that's fine. So yeah, get building these, please. Watu, where are you? You're coming along. Excellent. While we're waiting for that, I also wanted to add more trees over the back here. So we also we added our maple trees, didn't we? I wanted to get another load of oak trees because we just get an absolute ton of, there we go, oak logs, whatever, out of those. So I'm going to fill up all of this space here, get those planted, and that will work together with the infrastructure that we've already got set up here, which is great. Oh man, three more sparkly planks and we're there. This water is nearly filled up already. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep adding more on here. I just want to make sure that we're never going to run out of water. Okay, we need another little platform there. Let's run that down there. And these are going to be our main storages that then get taken out and plopped in at other places so yeah i need to set these up don't i these yeah like this this tick here to go straight out so that one to go like that that one to go like that that one to go like that supply goods to other warehouses and i'll do the same for all of these ones as well oh no that extra large water pump has just popped in which is fantastic we've got enough people working on that we've got five spare beavers without jobs that is what i want to see more beavers than we need so we can start getting all of these places i think these are all maxed out no not quite so we'll max out some of these as well you're done you're done that's done got any other haulers and things around here i think then we're back over to these ones over here you're done you're done i think we're pretty much maxed out on all the beavers which is good and the drought has started excellent okay so that means this is all going to dry up which is fine because this is all going to stay filled up so what i'm going to do now is i am going to pause all of those and see whether we can survive off of our 3.4 k water 3400 drips sips whatever of water hopefully we'll be okay i think we should i think we should um let's have a look yeah that's not going to run over the top there and we've got no other pumpers along here at all and it's seven days good grief that is a lot i'm hoping that we have got enough water for all the beavers that we've got i haven't done the maths maybe that's something we should do but i'm gonna just go around so we don't actually have any places for workers we've got all these spare beavers so really i think now we need to just get in some extra hauling posts and really ramp up the hauling ability of what we've been building up here so let us squeeze in some more of these Oh, while we're waiting for that, we can see our extra super long, very convoluted way of getting all of our power connected together to everything. And our overall power 
Oh, we can't see, can we? Because this isn't flowing. But it was pretty super high before the drought started. So we'll check that again afterwards. How's our hauling post going? Nearly done. And it's done. We'll leave that on medium. So that's just going to take as many beavers that are left over, over there. And then if we swing all the way over to this side, I think this one's nearly done as well. There we go. Excellent. We'll leave that on medium as well. And that will just soak up any spare beavers. Why? Oh, it's only set to five. Oh, okay. I set that to full over there. And I set this one to full. Don't know how that was sort of... Oh, it takes that first and then... Yeah, okay, that's fine. It will spread them out. Oh, there's lots of work going on. We're up to nearly 9,000 science. Oh, that is absolutely nuts. What do we need for all of these so refinery is 400 science so that produces all the different types of fuel that we can use i mean potatoes and carrots we've got so many potatoes i think that's what we're going to be using and then we've got the bot part factory which is 500 science and then the bot assembly which is, which is another 750 i mean i think we're almost at the point of where we just don't need that much oh 12k yeah we still need to keep getting going with the science so many more things we need to unlock where are we going to put our bot factories and stuff because the power that we need for these that doesn't need power okay that's good that needs 150 that needs 250 oh okay so i think we're probably well within the limits of what we can manage with the colony at this size which is good oh my life the water is going down oh no look worse than it was i think we're fine i think we're fine oh, i just realized our explosive factories these two wheels here aren't connected to our wheel network so let me get those set up like this yeah, gonna run that along there and then also why not let's get as many of these as we can in this section here while this is not running i don't know whether that's a good idea that doesn't seem to be like it's going to be facing the right direction we'll stop there and then we'll get all of these hooked up as well because that, whoops that's not what i wanted because they can run in here and do all the work while there's no bad water place your bets now how many beavers do you think are going to get stuck building all of this with all these different items behind other items i've laid out a load of paths hopefully i've got plenty of access to get around here let's see how it goes i think that's as far as we're going to go with these ones we could can't really set them on an angle can you it's like one way or the other way so i think we'll just stop there that will do for now and get these hooked up. Really, I want these ones in the middle here done first before anything else, which I know you're just not going to do. You're not. You're, you're doing this one, which means you're not going to be able to reach that one. Don't be a bonehead beaver. Do you know what? I think the beavers have been using a bit of their brains. We're getting this thing hooked up nicely, which is good. Along here, I've just had to readjust the path a bit so they can get to this one right in the middle. But that one's getting done. Excellent. So then I can put these last two in. And with these ones here... They can sort of reach down from the top, it seems, I think. I'm hoping, because otherwise they won't be able to get to these if they build some of these. But yeah, as usual, I can finagle it and get done what I want done. Only three days left, and we're doing all right. Everything's all still filled up with water. Still need 2,000 water. Logs is what we're getting short of, which we knew was going to happen. Um, I wonder whether we could try and sort of get up. I mean, we could maybe try and sort of build up to get to some of these possibly but these are going to be growing how long have we got to we're halfway through those and a long way to go for those yeah we'll see oh my goodness i always look down at that that gets me worried but i think we're going to be okay i think we're going to be okay yeah we're seriously struggling with our log uh production i mean we could run up here and grab these birches they've died oh we've got all of these up here these oaks which will be alive by the time the water comes through we haven't got very long i'm just i mean we're going to spend a lot of logs and things getting up here but i just think it might be a good idea so we could run along there do 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 up there up there uh yeah let's go there and then just sort of run this path through the middle here like so oh i'll sort that bit out don't worry up there that ain't gonna work so we'll get that sorted out something like that there we go more like that so at least they can get up here there we go is that too high oh that's higher than i thought it was okay let's just delete a couple of those let's add one of those up there I grab that grab that and get up to there excellent and then hopefully you can not reach that far okay that's fine so we're gonna grab you and we'll pop you boink 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 right up there there we go and another path and you can cut all of these for us are these all set to cut cut trees no they're not they are now there we go oh just notice they're on different levels as well let's grab that and hopefully that means you can get up to the top there and then we'll see if we can get across to there if we need to but yeah so what have we got eight logs left how are they doing over here oh everything is built brilliant we just need one more of those 
to hook that in. So we'll leave that on a medium. And then once the water comes back, we can see what our overall very convoluted power supply is giving us. I think our batteries are keeping us going for now. Where are the batteries? The batteries are... Like all the way down in there. Oh, they are. We've completely used all of our power. Oh, man, I think we're going to need another gravity battery setup. But yeah, we're at the end. So everything will start going any second. Oh, man, look, we're down to 800 water, which I know is quite a lot, but for nearly 200 beavers. That is 200 beavers. There we go. The drought has ended. Fantastic. It's all coming back. That is what we need. Can't see the water. We're filling up. There we go. Excellent. All coming back. That's very good, very good. So we survive, but I think if we're going to go for any more beavers, we really need to. Let's unpause all of these before we forget and kill all the beavers. We really need to get some more log pumpers in, get some more storage in. So let's see how it goes with three this time. And I hope we just don't get another <laughs> drought or bad water like instantly, because that would probably just kill off half the population. But there we go. And the bad water's rushing in. Excellent. Getting all these going as well, which is what we want to see. Excellent 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 you're pumping away you're going and you're going i think that is all of them running so let's see what overall we make four thousand three hundred odd it was at four thousand sort of going up and down i ran about the four thousand mark plus our windmills that are on top of that as well which i think i don't know whether i want to go another gravity battery because that's now going to start lifting up or whether we want to sort of go full hog with we've got the so these do 150 hp these do 300 we've got the science We've got the paper. We've got 50 paper, not so much paper. If we could increase our paper production, we could just add a whole load of those in an area somewhere and really go for that. But we shall see. We shall see. Oh, you're in. Lao Jin is in collecting all of these for us. Excellent. I mean, we could build you a little path across here and grab all of these as well and get another. Let's just pop another one in there. Excellent. And then if we grab some, I think this height will probably just be okay. Nope, needs to be too high. Yeah, just go like straight across there like that. There we go, excellent. And we just need a few more stairs in here, like so, like so. And that is not now going to connect up to there. Okay, we'll just remove and maneuver that. Then that'll do. We have this one over here, and then we'll pop this one over here so we've got access to that side. And then, I mean, at the minute we're just cutting it all down. We may set it up so we can replant more there. But with all of these trees going in down here, I think our tree production will be okay. Just look at anything else. Again, we're sort of filling up on storage on so many things, but that's okay okay that's okay something else i've been thinking about is using these fluid dumps to maybe suck some of this water out here and dump it back in over here whether that would sort of keep the water flowing enough to keep our power going during droughts and things would that actually be the case we are literally at oh no it's 180 beavers i thought we we're at 200 180 that'll do for now so what do you think we should do for our power next do you think we should go for the large windmills and just build up in the air somewhere maybe like all along the back all along the back here just fill this with like large windmills and just really beef up our power i think that would be a pretty big project now that we've got all the science in the world and then we can start heading up to beaver bot production i think that would be pretty exciting let me know what you think in the comments below hopefully we're back to normal with the timber now i'm trying to sort of get these done before we take some time off with the family after being ill trying to sort of get all that organized here's a bit of a pain in the neck but there we go that's what happens when you work for yourself as a youtuber thank you very much for watching have a great day. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.